Hey everybody, what's going on? So if you've seen my previous Amazon Web Services website setup video, you probably have an instance running with a Linux test page online through your dynamic IP address. So to test that your test page is working, head on to EC2 instances and this is my newly created instance. I named it ThinkFetch. Just copy the elastic IP and there you go. Now you know that the test page is working. We can add a custom URL to our website. So we can head on to head on back to the Amazon console and scroll down until you see root 53. As you can see, I have three hosted zones which, um, okay, three hosted zones. I'll just delete this one, create a new one. So this one, I'll call it thinkfetch.com, which is actually the URL that I just bought. Now we create it and you can see that we have these name servers we want to create a record set be www.thinkfetch.com and the recently i mean the well okay but anyways the ip that we copied at first want to paste it in here the ip that was from our test page website copy that just paste it in there without the http org slash but yeah, and then create. Next, we want to create another record set. We'll leave this blank, turn on alias, and we should see thinkfetch.com right here. Click that and, okay, evaluate target health, perfect. Okay, now that we've created the um, record sets, that's all we need for the Amazon console. Now we head on to, well, I bought my URL from domain.com and associating websites to your domain name is just changing your name server. So then um, domain central. So if you guys have domain.com, just follow along, but if not, uh, still follow along because the domain name server is all you have to change. Um, thinkfetch.com. I can go to name servers right here. Okay, just for test, I just want to show you guys that thinkfetch.com will show up unavailable. Let me just refresh it one more time. Okay. So this is the page we want from thinkfetch.com. And first we want to change name servers. So then we can head on back to your Amazon console. Um, why is this not working? Okay. Copy that and paste. Make sure you take that period, that last period out and do so too with the other ones. Remove that period. There's two more to go. And save. Okay, so now it says records for thinkfetch.com updated. Please note that because of the way name servers work, it may take up to 24 hours for your changes to take effect. All right, now um, we can actually maybe just refresh this and it should give you, okay, perfect, yeah. So this is my website now and I've changed the URL to thinkfetch.com. It was initially uh, 
110, which is such an ugly um, thing to type. Let's see. This will, yeah, this will bring us to the same web page. And so would thinkfetch.com. Perfect. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have um, domains from like, anyways, if you guys bought domains from namecheap.com, GoDaddy, or whatever websites that sell domain names, all you need to do is get the name servers right here and copy it into your domains. So I think actually www.thinkfetch.com would also work. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, if this video helped you, please subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up if you got it working. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment below. Oh, and one more thing, guys. If you do not already have a domain name but is planning to purchase one, I have an affiliate link with Namecheat.com in the descriptions below. So please check it out. Namecheat.com is actually where I bought my first domain name. And yeah, thank you very much. And until next time.